Thursday. It has gotten to the point where Fridays are no longer feasible for me. I am just far too busy on a Friday. It's singing, gets in the way, then I have to help my mum and my brothers. Everything just kind of goes Bleh! and by the time I do get home it's quite late and I am in, <laughs> I am just like, I can't be bothered doing anything. Bleh! Sorry if I keep moving around. I am sitting really awkwardly on my bed. It's not very comfortable. And because I've managed to pin the, not pin the, oh, I've managed to put the, the camera on top of my chest of drawers and that way I'm like trying to balance and I'm going up and down and all around and I've just come mess. Yeah, that, that was necessary. That, that was, that was, that was necessary. Okay, the whole color, oh, oh, I'm not even on the camera. The whole color challenge. Um. My computer's running a virus scan at the minute and it's going to take a few hours so I did the the test in advance and I noted down what I got on what was what, what did hold my Scottish candidate number card. It quite obviously doesn't now. It did have some personal information on it which I quite obviously scribbled out to write my <laughs> to write to write my colour thing on. You're a blue crayon! Your world is coloured in calm, understated, deep. Did I say understated? Calm, understated, deep colours. I can't even read my own writing. You are a loyal person, and the. I can't even read my own writing. And the oh, truest, truest friend anyone could hope to find. On the inside, you tend to be emotional and even a bit moody. That's well true. <laughs> However, you know that people depend on you, so you put on a strong front. Your colour opposite is orange, like Annie. Orange people may be opinionated, but you feel they lack the depth to truly understand what they're saying. On the contrary, I think Annie understands everything she's saying because this is Annie we're talking about. And she's certainly a hell of a lot cleverer than me. I need to wear something blue now. I'll just use my school tie and make an impromptu hair bow. Eh. Yeah, that's my school tie as an impromptu hair bow. <laughs> I look idiotic. Woohoo! It could be a new fashion statement. Or maybe not. And with that, I end the video. I don't have any clips to show you. Or pictures or anything. I don't have a suit or anything. Oh well. <laughs>